Aloha. I'm going to talk a bit about human needs psychology and, and how do we translate between their terminology and, and model into the uh, clinical theory of everything because the two dovetail. You know, anytime we look at the truth, when we're seeking the truth, we will find it. We'll find it in degrees, we'll find it in, in our perspective our own perspective. So, you know, different scientists, uh, for example, looking at live blood cell analysis, uh, because they weren't familiar with each other, they developed different terminology, uh, but they were talking about the same observations. So we're dealing with the same thing here. In human needs psychology, the six human needs that they speak about, we're going to interpret and, and, and translate that into the nine basic levels of consciousness development in, in our model. And so it's a very, very uh, relatively simple direct translation and that key will be helpful to you you know it, as you study uh, the work of uh, Chloe Madonis and Tony Robbins through Robbins Madonis Center uh, f for life coaching um, and then integrating synthesizing that along with our work here on, on health coaching uh, <clears throat> and life coaching as well through the clinical theory of everything the the first first level that's talked about uh, in human needs psychology is certainty and comfort. N it's very interesting to me, <laughs> you know, as the, 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 the synthesizer of the clinical theory, that they're using two terms because I find that they are actually two different levels within the development of consciousness. And they're very close, but they, there's, a, there's definitely a transformation between the two. That, that I would put comfort first. Comfort, when we think of comfort, it's really more a bodily sensation, isn't it? So comfort and, and the, the, the first three levels of consciousness are all about the body. You know, our sensations uh, the, and, and from the non-local, the non-self, our, our, our intake of energies, breath and sensorium, uh, and then how that feeds in, like the breath feeds into the heart in order to nourish the body with oxygen, or the senses feed into our consciousness, the Shen, which in Oriental medicine resides in the heart. So it comes in at the top vortex. If we think of it as a donut shape, you know, three dimensions, think of a donut and the top of the heart chakra. The heart chakra is a complete donut shape, toroidal energy uh, field and of course that's the electromagnetics of the heart and that's the strongest field electromagnetic field of the body so it's the one that really operates the others in in octaves uh, and in coherence uh, dec decade and octave coherence out to the 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 whole ultimately out to the universe you know the field of one electron in quantum physics is understood as asymptotic to infinity that means it's everywhere everywhere well there's a quantum nature, a quantized nature to that too, so that it's not just everywhere equally, it has a potential to be everywhere. So in a sense, in a wave sense, it's everywhere, but in a quantum sense, it also can bilocate. It can be here and there. It can go from here to there without going through the space in between. It's the spiritual nature of the substance of the body. So the body is not non-spiritual, it's just the most material, physical, manifestation of the spirit so that we can have this experience here in, in the biological body suit one of our mentors calls it uh, okay so let's get specific the quality of comfort has to do with the bottom what what nourishment comes comes out from what we've received at the top of the heart the the joy coming in at the top what comes out the bottom is gratitude so the comfort you know it's like what could be more we'd be more grateful for than feeding our our need for comfort right aren't they one and the same so the bottom of the heart chakra this core core means heart core sphere or toroid or uh, vortex in the body in the spirit body uh, is this first quality of comfort and then certainty 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 is a mental mental quality so comfort and certainty, certainty, the, the mind is associated with the next sphere out, associated with the voice. You know, we speak our mind. We, we nourish the body with food through this same 
throat chakra and 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 we digest it into nutrients and absorb those through the digestive tract we have the the, the spleen and pancreas of uh, oriental medicine uh, of uh, and the stomach make up the earth element that's the, our digestive system or in terms of uh, tissue layers the, the 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 pancreas and the stomach certainly are part of the processing system that nourishes the body to build itself up well the when we have receive our you know input from our environment we we chunk it into into words consciously as as thought and we build those up uh, are able to then build those up like we build up enzymes in the pancreas or the liver in the processing system we we build up words into thoughts into sentences these are linear structures so are you know building up dna to make a new cell or building up amino acids to make a protein are linear structures it's how we build at that stage of the earth element and so that's where we have the aspect of certainty certainty is like having your DNA intact so you can be certain that you're making the right DNA for the the next generation of cells a cancer cell doesn't have that certainty um, so we'll get into that uh, and how we heal that uh, certainly on many levels on every level uh, in, as we go along in, in the training but what's next so that's the first of six number two is again two words variety and change Variety or change, variety and change. Two different concepts. Variety I associate with the first sphere, the, the, the non-local of sensation, of energies and even substance like oxygen coming into our field, into our sphere, into our, our, our realm, to where we can then call it ours, make it our own, use it to get energy, use it to build the body, etc. Uh, so sensation is is that variety uh, and then <clears throat> change we create change with movement and we know that the senses only exist with movement as well so these two are related they're closely related when we move when the eye moves with my mic uh, micro saccadic movements at at uh, twice uh, at uh, sorry half the one octave away half the frequency of the spirit minerals that hold and receive consciousness was so able to transfer that information that light energy to the consciousness through resonance octave resonance just like a guitar string will transfer energy across the room to a piano string through resonance uh, even if it's an octave relationship there will be transfer of energy uh, so so we have variety and change sensation and movement the sensory motor loop and that's again the first layer of consciousness the sen sensorium and then the fifth one associated with the next one after uh, after the digestion for me here it's on the left uh, so on the left side we've got the the stomach is over on the left and the pancreas is over on the left just below the ribs and then we go to the kidneys which are in the center on the right and left side of the of the spine but more toward the center of the body and toward the back so it's the at the bottom of this cycle of consciousness of the five elements that we'll talk about so you can visualize and, and have a, a you know a, a discrete ex precise model in your mind of the development of consciousness and how that flows again according to the five element theory that's been around for thousands of years with you know being effectively used in practice by you know a large portion of the world's world's population so so the the, the data is in it it works it still works you know this is coming from Taoist philosophy of yin and yang of the opposites and dividing the two into seeing how there's the dynamic of that cycle of yin and yang what is it that operates that it's a cycle of five just like in the cosmos we now have modern physics seeing the five the quintessence five forms of existence but that's enough for for uh, right now for one day let's uh, uh, say goodbye and come on back and we'll talk about the uh, four more levels of, of consciousness and how they relate between human needs psychology of uh, Tony Robbins and Chloe Madonis and their amazing, amazing work that helps people break through every possible kind of, of, of issue, uh, including health problems and, uh, the no and the nine levels of consciousness that we've mapped out in uh, the clinical theory of everything. See you next time. Aloha.